Hello everyone. Uh, we move on to the next reaction of the chapter aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acid. Let's say addition reaction. In the last video, friends, we know this uh, addition reactions of aldehydes of hydrogen cyanide is a reaction with aldehyde either a ketone to form corresponding cyanohydrin. I repeat, aldehydes or either ketones reacts with hydrocyanic acid to form the products are corresponding cyanohydrin. We know the reactions, but today we continue once again its a corresponding mechanism. Corresponding mechanism because it's a very important question for FEMA in organic chemistry having a mechanism. In this part, friends, uh, we start with the mechanism when hydrogen cyanide when hydrogen cyanide is react with an alkali, the formation of the product, the generation of Cn minus and an and every time this is the first reaction, this is your carbonyl carbon, this is C double bond, either you consider either aldehyde or either ketone. So RCHO is aldehyde, RC double bond R is a ketone. You consider any one. When it react with Cn minus in the first step, the step one is a very slow step. Step one is a very slow step. And here this uh, pi bond is cleavage, the attacking of a uh, Cn minus to form the product is a C, this is a O minus and attacking of Cn minus. Name of this compound we call alkoxide ion. This is very important. The formation of alkoxide ion. The unstable alkoxide ion in the step uh, 2, attacking of H plus. Very simple, this is a C. O minus Cn attacks. Yes, this Cn is attached to the proton. This is H plus. The second step is becomes to the fast step. It's a very fast. It is attacked with the H plus to the OH minus. Now the formation of the product is C, the OH, and the corresponding Cn. Name of this compound cyano. This is a simple mechanism of your solution. I repeat once again, addition of hydrocyanic acid to the either aldehyde or either ketone involving two steps. You consider it is your R C double bond OH. Another product is R C double bond OH. And here it is an R H and this is your R H. Now the product is aldehyde. So you know. Hydrate. If you consider they ask, if you consider it is an aldehyde is an example for this alkoxide reactions. Either they mention this is your component is R dash or either R O R. If you consider any ketone. Now the product is available as a ketone. Here it is your replacement of H. Now you can get it. This is your R. Now the name of the product is a corresponding. Ketone cyanohydrin. This is your important mechanism of the syllabus is addition reaction of hydrocyanic acid to the corresponding either aldehyde or either a ketone. Yes, next friends, after this mechanism, you keep practicing this mechanism. Yes, then we want the addition reaction with the next compound is NaHSO3. Name of this compound sodium. By sulfide, PHIT, keep in your mind, sodium by sulfide is the next compound to the addition reaction. So, very important addition reaction of either aldehyde or either a ketone. Now, better word is a reaction with carbonyl carbon. Yes, friends, so what happens when either aldehyde? That I have taken as example for my syllabus. Is CH3 C double bond OH. I think all of you know this is your acetaldehyde. What happens when acetaldehyde is reacted with NaHSO3 sodium bisulfide? Now it undergoes the cleavage of this pi bond. When this cleavage of this pi bond will be takes place, the formation of the compound is ONA will be formed. This is 
where cleavage will be takes place the addition of the component is very important is ch3 as it is this is your carbon this is h this attacking of this o is combined with your component h so so now the product is o n a and this is your compound is so3 h now keep in your mind so3 h is easy to attack into your component aldehyde aldehyde is react with sodium bisulfite the formation of the compound is ona this is an ana is attacked here and this is your so3 h name of this compound is aldehyde or acetaldehyde acetaldehyde sodium by sulfide this is your final product is formed acetaldehyde consider with the corresponding aldehyde similarly you have to practice with the corresponding ketone this is your acetone when this acetone is react with a compound same nah so This on any two so four is any H S O three is a sodium by sulfide. When it reacts with sodium by sulfide, the same the cleavage of this pi bond. Once this cleavage of pi bond will take place, this is a C H three C C H three as it is. This is O N A. This is the remaining compound. O is attacked in here. Now the component will becomes. So what it becomes here? This is the one S O three. H will be remain. This is H S O three. H will be remain. This is attacking the component. Name of this compound acetone. This is your acetone. This yes, sodium by sulfide will be formed. This is a simple addition reaction of sodium by sulfide to the your corresponding aldehyde. Either acetaldehyde or either acetone. You keep in your mind. So very important one point. Yes, as exam part of your friends and higher ketones like acetone onwards means either uh, higher aliphatic ketones or either aromatic ketone is acetophenone or benzophenone does not react with sodium bisulfite. Why, sir? Because due to the bulkier group, the molecule is undergoes a steric hindrance. Due to the steric hindrance, the acetophenone does not undergoes an addition reaction with the sodium. by sulfide this is a very important addition reaction of our syllabus is sodium by sulfide yes uh, thank you so much we continue the next addition reaction of alcohol in the next video thank you